going on you guys back today with another electric bike review this is another 750 watt rear hub motor electric bike i've uh, been putting this through the paces quite a bit really enjoying it so far uh, like i always do want to fully state that this was sent to me by the company mock wheel uh, to put through its paces and then to provide an honest review for you guys i think right now these are currently listed at 16.99 on their website uh, just checked uh, earlier this morning they usually have some different deals going on uh, buy one get some money off of the second one buy one get some extra accessories just different sales going on so make sure and check out their website but uh, we're going to go through some of the specs on this and then more importantly going to show you some riding footage and uh, some of the train that i've been taking it on right around 65 miles on it so far and uh, hooked the trailer up to it a few times took some stuff back into the woods and uh, performed really well with that as well and uh like I said, just been happy with it. We'll get right into it. All right, we're gonna get right in here and go through some of the specs on this thing. You can see right here on this down tube, you can see how the battery's kind of integrated within there. So you pull this little tab right here and that's how you get the battery out, but it's kind of stowed away. It doesn't hang out uh, too far down from the down tube, the down post. So I really like that function on it. It's a 48 volt, 16 amp battery stuck inside there. You can charge it uh, by taking the battery out or you can unlock it right there or you can just open this and charge it right on the bike so that keeps water and condensation out right there pretty nice feature show you guys a picture here of the lcd panel uh i said earlier about 65 miles i'm at 62 right now you can see there uh this does go to a pedal assist five uh, by changing the buttons right here, up and down. Right there is your power button. Got a horn. And then right here is your light toggle. So it does come with a, a light on the front. Pretty decent light. Anytime I'm riding at night, I'm always using uh, a headlamp anyway. So I have the front light on as well as the headlamp. And then the rear light right here. Turn this back on for you. You can see it does have a rear light, so nice added feature there. It is a seven speed Shimano uh, gear system with the same rear derailleur, seven speed. And this is a, a turny Shimano rear derailleur right here. Um, you can see here being kind of going through some nasty weeds and stuff, but I like this little feature kind of keeps the, the cable management um, tucked in tight to the rails here. And then I do like um, you not only get protection on the chain on the outside, but you can see it's encased here and you get protection on the inside as well. It comes with the rear cargo carrier. And it does come with front and rear fenders. And then of course, just like all the other ones that I've reviewed, uh, it does have you know your full suspension where you can lock it out or unlock it. I usually always just keep it unlocked to where the suspension's always active because the roads around here are real bumpy. And then majority of the time I'm off the road anyway. I'm gonna post a link down below so you guys can take a look at the Tour Plus not going to bore you with all the specs the main things on these are the riding and how beneficial they are in the woods and off-road but just want to give you a quick overview on everything it's got uh, mechanical disc brakes front and rear but that's a quick overview on the mock wheel tour plus been real happy with it so far now we're going to get in we're going to cruise back here grab a trail camera that's not been real active and take it down to another property and uh, we'll get on the road, get you some footage. Uh, might go and check out Beaver Lake as well and uh, see how she does. But been super happy with it so far and been a ton of fun.
trying to ride through this field just a little bit slower for you guys to keep the GoPro footage more stable. As you can see, these bikes are super helpful, easy access. You can just hop on the bike straight from my house, ride through the fields, grab a trail camera, and take it to a new location. and how much you help the bike the average is 35 to 55 miles per charge from a completely dead battery to fully charged is about six hours all right gonna take this trail camera put it in a new spot hopefully get some better activity on it Max capacity of the bike is 400 pounds. The bike fully assembled is 74 pounds. As you can see here, I can't keep my daughter off of this bike. She absolutely loves this bike and she only weighs about 110 pounds. This bike is suitable for anyone from five foot three to six foot four and she handles it just fine. Don't forget to use code HUNTING10 to get 10% off of your purchase. All right, guys, you can see there, that's a good time on this bike. Um, runs real steady on flat ground on, on a good paved road. Runs real steady at 28, like most of the other ones. Uh, that pedal assist really helps out. You can really crank it down and get up sometimes over 30 mile per hour. And then, of course, going downhill, you know, you're going to get quite a, fit, quite a bit faster than that. But... Overall, just a solid product, really, uh, really good bike. And uh, for the price point, you know, 16, 1700 bucks, you know, it's, it's fully what I expect. Just a great all around performer, uh, good power. Like I said earlier, it does well whenever I put the trailer behind it and uh, performs well, you know, pulling that extra load through the woods, uh, through, the, through the trails in the woods. So really happy with this bike. I think you guys will be too. Make sure and check out the company Mockwheel. Like I said, it's gonna be posted down below. Check them out there. And uh, as always, want to thank them for sending that out for review. And uh, if you guys have any questions at all, make sure and comment down below. And uh, stay tuned for the next one. Happy hunting. Be safe. See you guys. Bye.